Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running iOS 14. These are pretty useful features that most people don't even know that they exist. Now before we get into these make sure to leave a like on this video it helps a lot for the algorithm so make sure you smash the like button. Starting things off with Siri. Now Siri can do quite a lot of things that people don't know about, like finding your AirPods. So if you have your AirPods somewhere laying around your house or maybe your bedroom or somewhere, you can actually ping them and they will play actually a sound. All that can be done through Siri very easily. So you launch Siri and just ask her for your AirPods. Where are my AirPods? So just like this, you can play a sound and it will actually ping them and it will play a sound on your AirPods. So the sound will start like low and then it will continue to go up. You can listen to it here. This is the sound that Siri will play and of course make it very, very easy for you to find your lost AirPods iOS has quite a lot of cool features that in my opinion are a bit underrated and not a lot of people use them. Like automations, you can actually do some pretty cool things. I can actually set here specific settings for specific apps. So when I open one of the apps that I choose, it will set automatically specific settings and adjust things based on my desire. So here's what I want to do here is create a personal automation for when I open YouTube. So tap on app here, choose and just search here for YouTube. So here we have YouTube. You can also select here multiple apps if you want to and tap next. So when I will open YouTube, I want the volume to be automatically at let's say 70%. So I just search here for volume and here we have set volume, tap on the percentage right there, chose a slider, of course allows it to change the percentage, tap the plus button, I want of course the brightness to be let's say at 50% so search for brightness here here we have brightness I want to leave it at 50% and I want the orientation lock to be automatically turned off when I enter YouTube what I do here is just go ahead and search for orientation lock tap on toggle right there select turn and just tap right there to turn it off tap the next button disable this right here so it doesn't ask you before running it tap done and now you're good to go now you can see the settings that i have here volume all the way down orientation lock on and the brightness right there open youtube everything changes automatically you can see the brightness is up the volume is up and also orientation lock has been turned off the notes app also has quite a lot of hidden features and one of them is the search bar now when you tap on the search bar you can see right here all of these these are actually filters these allow you to filter your notes when searching them so if i just want notes with attachments i can tap right there now it only shows notes with attachments but you can still type text there still search but you will only search from notes with attachments so you tap right there you start searching and you can see it only searches the notes that have actually attachments now when you go to one of your notes and you have a list like this, a list of things you need to do or something like that, and you have something that you maybe have already completed or something like that, you can actually move it forward like this just by swiping on that row. You can move it forward or backwards just like this. You can see how easy that is, very very cool and of course very convenient. When you're downloading a huge file on Safari, you can see the percentage of the download. If you click right here, you can see it only shows the megabytes, but if you tap right there, it will go to the files app. And on the files app, it actually shows you the accurate percentage, how much you have actually downloaded that file until now. That's very, very cool. And of course, lets you easier keep track of the download. When you're on a FaceTime call, you can actually zoom in, which is really cool. You can zoom in on your video. So what you need to do is, of course, double tap here to basically go to your video. And if I try to zoom in here, you can see it won't work. But if you just tap on the effects button without applying any of the effects, now you will be able to zoom in and out on that video, which is, of course, very, very useful. 
Siri on iOS 14 has a hidden button. Now I've just noticed that button. I don't know if Apple has just recently done it or it has been there before, but I just didn't pay attention to it. So if I use Siri to open anything, you will see a button will appear right here, allowing me to go back to Siri. So open settings. Now you can see once you give Siri a task, it will basically do it and just will disappear. But right there, you can see it says Siri right there at the top. Now that button allows us to go back to Siri. So what I got to do here is just tap right there and it will bring back Siri. That's really, really cool. And of course, very convenient to have. Now, if I tap here, I can, of course, continue using Siri. So open voiceover settings. Now from here, of course, I can go, go elsewhere and you can see it again disappears, but there it is right there again at the top. If I just tap right there, it will again show Siri right back on the screen. You can use Siri to make a phone call. Probably everyone knows about that. But did you know this? Call test X on speaker. And you can see right now it is calling, but it's actually calling right on speaker. So automatically it calls the contact on speaker. So anytime you don't want to grab your iPhone to tap on the speaker, just asking Siri to call someone, make sure that you also ask her to call on speaker. So that will be done automatically. You can also use Siri to scan QR codes. If you just don't want to go through the camera or don't want to go to the control center to launch the QR code scanner, you can just ask Siri to do that real quick. Scan a QR code. And just like that, it goes to the QR code scanner, allowing you to scan any QR code very, very easy. A pretty useful feature of iOS is, of course, guided access. But of course, there's a lot to it. It's not just something that will lock you into one app. It has quite a lot of hidden features. So if I just enable guided access here, you can see what I can do. So triple tap again. It takes me right here. Let's just enter the passcode. and It takes me to this screen. Now, right here will have the options, but this, there's something also very cool that I will show you in just a second. So under options here, you can actually choose which features you want to leave enabled and disabled wide guided access is enabled so basically you can disable anything you can disable the volume buttons you can disable the keyboard you can even disable the complete screen so the touch won't work at all and if you want to you can also set a timer of how long it will last but what you can do here is also read this right here circle the areas that you want basically to disable the screen so if i just don't want someone to go right here on the iCloud notes, I can just tap right there. You can see how it basically covers that and tap on resume right here. And now if you want to, you can go do anything here. So you can see I can tap here to create a new note. I can go back there, but I won't be able to actually tap here. So that part won't work at all. That's very, very useful. Now, when editing photos on your iOS 14 device, you go here to the filters. Once you tap on one of the filters, you can notice this slider right here. Now, this slider allows you to adjust the amount of the effect that you apply to the picture. Now, this will be basically 50% and you can go way up to 100 or just lower it down as much as you want. If you have a document or something that you have saved as a picture on your iPhone, and you want to actually sign it, you can do that from the Photos app and it is very easy. You tap the edit button and once you do that, you tap those three dots right there. Tap on markup and then go ahead and tap the plus button and you will have here signature. You tap on signature and here will have your signature if you have already saved one from the notes app or from the markups on the screenshot or you can tap add or remove one and you will be able to actually create a signature right here and then of course tap done and you can go ahead and add it. You can zoom it, make it bigger or smaller and place it anywhere you want on that document. Now, while you're editing a photo on the photos app, what you can do is actually just tap it and it will show like for a couple of seconds, the original version of that picture. So if you want to see the changes that you have applied and see how it compares to the original photo, just tap on the photo while you're editing it and you will see the original.
If you're searching for one of your contacts on the spotlight search and it shows like this, what you can do is actually tap on that call button and it will give you the options here to either call them on the mobile or even one of the apps if you have like Viber or WhatsApp or any of the other like social apps that you have that allow you to make a call, you can actually call them from these as well. On the iMessage app, if you have a message that someone sent you with an effect, you know those call effects that the iMessages have, you can replay those later on if you want to. You will just see underneath them there is like a replay button. If you just tap on it, it will show you again the message that you have received and of course all its cool effects. So that's basically it for this video guys, thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.